Hi there, this is Noelle. I'm here to teach you how to do your intramuscular injection. And for this, we're gonna use the medication Del Estrogen. The generic name is Estradiol Valerate. Essentially, it is estrogen, the same hormone that your body creates. Um, your doctor has prescribed this either to help you build a uterine lining or for supplementation. So um, most of these injections for Del Estrogen are a twice weekly injection. Your nurse will give you the schedule as well as your particular dosing. So it's important that you follow all that. Um, before we do the actual injection, I just wanna talk about the supplies that you're gonna need today. Um, the medication itself will come in a box and typically it's just a vial and an information packet. We want you to make sure that your vial is the 100 milligrams per 5 ml dosing or 20 milligrams per ml. Um, and it's an oily substance, so you'll see it looks a little bit different than maybe some of the other medications you're used to. I want you to also make sure that you pull out of your packet um, the 1 ml syringe. It's possible that your fertility pharmacy or even your local pharmacy may have sent you three ml syringes that are used for a different medication, but I want you to make double, double sure that you're using the one ml injection. Most of you, or many of you I should say, will be using a 0 0.2 ml dosing twice a week. Um, for various purposes, it's possible your doctor has prescribed a 0 0.3 ml dosing twice a week. Um, so just make sure you are aware of what dosing you'll be using and also which schedule. I find it um, for these shots that are not daily, it may be easy for you to remember to take them if you set yourself a reminder on your phone, um, say a Monday, Thursday rotation or Tuesday, Friday, etc. cetera. Um, but your, your nurse will give you those explicit instructions. The other thing you'll need, there's two different needles we're gonna be using today. One is an 18 gauge, it's a pink needle. It's very long. Um, we don't use this particular needle to inject. Um, so the pink is just to draw the medication out of the vial and into the syringe. We like to remember pink equals pain. So do not inject with this, medic, this particular needle. The one you'll inject when, with is probably gray. It's a 22 gauge and you will have been prescribed either an inch and a half length needle or one inch needle depending on your body frame. Either is acceptable, you'll just wanna check with your nurse um, to make sure that that was the correct needle prescribed for you. So let's go ahead and clean our hands before we do anything with the medications. Warm soapy water, of course, is the best, um, but today I'm using the um, antibacterial alcohol. Uh, we're rubbing that in for 10 seconds, letting it air dry and rubbing as we go. The actual injection itself will be into your bottom. Um, it's an intramuscular injection, or otherwise known as IM. And if you need help finding this spot, the nurse can actually draw circles on your bottom the day of your first injection. And then once you get the hang of it, it's not a big deal. But for information and demonstration purposes today, what I like to tell people is if you take your two hands as if you were wearing a pair of your favorite blue jeans, and you're gonna put your credit card or your phone into your back pocket, where your hands fall on the back of your bottom or upper hip area to slide your hands into your pocket is where we're given the injection. So it's actually a little higher than some people think, and that's so that we can get it into the appropriate muscle. Um, and we're gonna be using this white block here as the skin. The particular technique we wanna to use today is actually to spread the skin, and we're gonna take the needle and go in at a 90 degree angle. We'll get to that in a minute, but let's go ahead and draw up the medication. So your vial here, typically the first time you inject will come with a cap. You're gonna pop that cap off, okay? You're gonna get your one ml syringe and you're gonna to attach to it the pink needle. To attach your needle, all you'll need to do is just screw the pink portion into the syringe here. We're gonna pull off the safety cap. I want you to leave the medication vial on the counter or tabletop. You're gonna take the needle and go straight down into the rubber stopper flip everything upside down, and I want you to pull the tip of the needle into the puddle of medicine there. So you're gonna do that, and by pulling down in your plunger, the medicine will come into the syringe, okay? So we're pulling down. This medicine is more viscous because it's an oil, so it can take a little bit longer to fill your plunger. Some of you may find you have to pull way down on the plunger to get enough medicine. If you've gotten enough and there's air bubbles, you flip those to the top, of course, 
and if there's too much still, you want to push back any excess. Today we're gonna to stop at the 0.2 line. So the top of the rubber plunger is where you want it to meet your medication marking. So once we've got the proper dosing, we're gonna pull that straight off and we're gonna make sure that we don't touch the plunger anymore. We're gonna change the needle now. So to do that, we insert the safety cap. I want you to switch and turn the needle, drop that into your sharp spin. We're gonna attach the 22 gauge. Today I'm using an inch and a half needle. Pull off the safety cap, and we're gonna just set that aside for a minute. When we're talking about the injection for your bottom, first things first, let's clean the skin once we've found the spot. You're gonna rub there on the spot, and let's talk about who's doing this injection quickly. It's really hard for us to reach our own backside, right? So this is a shot that you want your husband, your partner, your best friend, your mom, sister, sometimes even if you have a friendly neighbor, you want them to come over and do this injection for you. This is not something we want you to do for yourself, um, primarily for technique purposes. So once your partner has cleaned your skin properly, let that air dry. Don't wave, don't blow on it, just let it air dry. We're spreading the skin. And for today's purposes, again, we're using this white square. I'm gonna take this, inject directly into the skin, we're gonna go with purpose, not too slow and not too fast, but just straight into the skin until the bottom of the needle goes all the way into the skin surface. I'm gonna take the, the fingers here, my first finger and my thumb that were holding the skin spread, and I'm gonna tuck them right here and hold on to that to kind of secure. Before we inject the medication, I wanna make sure that we pull back on the plunger so that we don't see any blood here. If there's no blood, you're good to go and you wanna inject. If there is blood, it's okay, don't freak out. I just want you to take that out, find a new spot and inject right around. It can be a new spot very close to where you injected initially, um, but don't freak out. It's your own blood going right back into your body so we're good to go. So no blood here, we're just gonna push, push, push and sometimes it can feel a little tough to push the medication into the skin because it's a, um, an oil a little thicker so we're pushing all the way in all that is in we're pulling out the needle and we're being careful to slip that straight into a sharp spin so we don't stick ourselves